Hi guys, it's Hannah from Trek It and I'm here at the base of Hay Bluff with Penavan, oh just about peeping through the mist in the background uh, and with Harry behind the camera as usual and I'm here today to talk to you about Arcteryx's updated Atom LT. So in this video I'm just going to take you through uh, what it's best suited for, what it's made out of, how it fits, all of the really cool features uh, and just generally why we think it's so cool. So stay tuned till the end to learn all about the updated Arcteryx Atom LT. Okay guys, just before we get on with the rest of the video, if you hit that shiny subscribe button and then hit the little bell icon, you'll get a notification every time we post a video. So the Arcteryx Atom LT has firmly solidified itself as the default lightweight synthetic jacket for just about any outdoor activity. So it's highly weather resistant, very wind resistant, um, really warm and really, really breathable. Um, so that means that it suits a wide range of outdoor activities. So you can wear it on its own during high output activities like biking or running. Uh, or on those really cold days when you're up in the mountains, you can layer it up under other layers just to give you an extra layer of warmth. Uh, so the Atom LT has had a few updates for autumn winter 2020, um, which just make it just that bit more perfect. So the insulation in the Atom LT has been updated for the 2020 winter season. So the Atom LT now uses Core Loft Compact uh, and that just helps to maintain your core temperature during mid to high output activities. So it uses 60 grams per meter squared uh, of Core Loft Compact. Now Core Loft Compact, um, so very similar, we've seen Core Loft uh, used across the Atom range in the past, but now Core Loft Compact is slightly different. So it's a highly crimped uh, siliconized polyester yarn uh, that has undergone a special process to reduce the thickness of the material by up to 50% without you losing the effectiveness of the insulation. So Core Loft Compact is a breathable, thermally efficient, 100% polyester fiber with a siliconized treatment. Now what that siliconized treatment does is it uh, reduces the fiber's ability to hold onto moisture. So the massive advantage of synthetic insulation over down is uh, its ability to keep you warm even when it's wet and the fact that it dries out much quicker. Now that siliconized treatment just adds to that. So the outer fabric is Arcteryx's own Tyeno 20 Denier 100% nylon fabric. Uh, now that is then treated with a DWR or a durable water repellent coating, um, which just allows the water to bead and run off the jacket. Now whilst that uh, makes the jacket highly weather resistant, please just note that it's not a waterproof jacket. Uh, and if you are heading out all day, then you will need to take a shell jacket out with you because you know, our UK conditions are predictably unpredictable. So the sides and underarms feature an updated fleece as well. So that fleece is lightweight and tougher, uh, but it also, so it aids in the breathability and the maneuverability, but also improves the fit of the jacket. So you get this really lovely body hugging uh, fit uh, to help maximize performance. Arcteryx have also updated the lining fabric in the Atom LT. So the Atom LT now uses a uh, dope Permia 20 Denier fabric. Uh, so this fabric is incredibly lightweight and very, very breathable. It is the same fabric that they use in their Proton range. Um, but not only does it increase the breathability, it also increases the next to skin comfort. So it does feel really lovely on. Uh, now the dope in Dope Permia is not dope. <laughs> It, it refers to the dope dyeing process. Now what that means and what dope dyeing is, uh, is where the yarns of the fabric are dyed at the yarn stage rather than after weaving. Now what that means uh, and what that process means is that it uses a lot less water and a lot less chemicals, making for a more environmentally friendly fabric. So 
So let's break down the features. As usual, we'll start from the top and work our way down. So the hood in the Atom LT is a fully adjustable under helmet hood. So it has a crown cinch in the back, um, which is a very, is an elasticated draw cord. So you just cinch that in and that takes out the volume of the hood so it sits snug to your head. Uh, in practice, it will just about squeeze over the top of a climbing helmet, but it's not what it's designed for. So I would recommend if you can, that you would wear it underneath your helmet. Uh, in the front of the hood then, you have a bit more of a reinforced peak. Now that's an update for this season. Previously, it didn't have anything at all, but now it's got a bit more reinforcement. And what that does is just help uh, to keep the rubbish out of your eyes um, and just gives the hood a bit more of a shape to it. Moving down then, the Atom LT features two zipped hand pockets in the front and an internal zipped security pocket that's big enough to take a phone. Okay, moving on to the front of the jacket, you have a full length no slip zip. Now this no slip zip is one of the most exciting updates. Um, it features these tiny little speed bumps in the top of the jacket. Now I had brought my, uh, my old Atom AR to show you the difference between the zips, but my little dog's gotten a bit cold. So so I've wrapped her up in the jacket and it's now damp and uh, covered in muddy paw prints. So you're just going to have to take my word for it. But what these little speed bumps do is they allow the zip to stay put if you have it unzipped a little bit. Now on previous models of the uh, Atom range, um, the zip would come undone on its own without very much convincing at all if you didn't have it zipped all the way to the top. Now that's a really irritating feature um, but they fix that by putting these little like speed bumps into the zip so one of the nicest features about the atom lt uh, is its cuff design so they feature these really really soft elasticated cuffs that sit snug to your wrist now because these are stretchy you can um, wear them over the top of your gloves like this or if you've got uh, heavier insulated gloves for the winter uh, they sit really nicely underneath the cuff of your gloves as well moving down you also get a really lovely hem draw cord um, so that doesn't go all the way around the base of the jacket um, it actually just if i can just show you stops about here so it actually just sit, uh, cinches in the hem um, around the seat of the jacket but that when that's done up it just helps to seal out any cold updrafts so i'm five foot one i weigh roughly 50 kilos and i'm wearing a size extra small or a size eight uh, now the arcterex atom lt has had a bit of an update to the fit this season so it fits a little bit slimmer and a little bit neater but it still fits into arcterex's trim fit block which means that it is designed to sit snug to your body um, but it still has enough room underneath to fit a couple of layers on so i've got a base layer uh, and a little montane iridium fleece underneath that uh, and that fits really really snug underneath there without any without any hassle at all so the atom lt is really easy to move in thanks to the articulated arms and gusted underarms now that just adds a bit of maneuverability without adding any extra bulk where does it fit in the layering system that's up to you <laughs> So where does it fit in the layering system? Well, that's a bit of an open-ended question because it is really designed to fit in, in a few different places, kind of depending on where you're going to be using it. So for high output activities, um, you can use it as an outer layer, but if you're moving a bit slower uh, and it's wet or really cold, you can use it as an additional um, layer for warmth. So you can put this underneath the shell jacket um, for a bit of extra warmth, but also, you know, it perfectly suits just sitting around the campfire or mooching around town just as a bit of an outer layer. So that's it guys, that is the updated Arcteryx Atom LT, a really, really versatile and beautifully made piece. So I have one, we actually in Trekit, we all have one. 
Uh, they're really, really great little pieces. And at the moment, I've been taking mine out running with me because on the very tops of the mountains near where I live, they are covered in snow and ice and it is bitter out on the top. So I really do appreciate having it as an extra layer uh, when I get to the tops. Um, but if you love this video, don't forget to hit the little like button. Uh, and if you haven't already, then hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you get notifications whenever we post a new video. Otherwise, that's it from me, guys. I will see you next time. Stay safe. Bye.